everyone, it's Bridget from the EC Fitness Center. I hope this finds you well. We're going to go ahead today and start out on all fours on tabletop. We're going to go ahead and drop our bellies, tip our head back, and then arch that back, tuck the chin. Moving through cat and cow at your own pace, just getting warmed up. Breathing. Getting grounded into your mat, down into Mother Earth. Go ahead and tick tock those hips side to side, nice and slow. Bring them as far as you can, isolate those abs. And go ahead and start some slow hip circles. So we're dropping the belly and then making that C in the spine, kind of like you're doing a cat and cow, but you're moving your hips. Then go ahead and make those circles a little bit bigger, pressing them back, pulling them forward. Keep breathing, take them to nice and big, and then bring them in, smaller and smaller. Go ahead and stop in the middle, go ahead and drop that belly, cat and cow. Keep breathing, tick tock the hips side to side. And then go ahead and start the circles in the other direction. Hip circles, nice and small. And then move them to bigger. And then nice and big. Bring them in a little bit smaller. To neutral spine. From here, we're going to inhale our right arm high, and then we're going to tuck it under that opposite elbow. Thread the needle. up, other side, raise the left arm high and then bring it through underneath that opposite elbow. And slowly popping back up and sit yourself down into child's pose. While in child's pose, I want you to bring to your mind's eye that area in between your forehead. Your intention for today, what brought you to your mat? Bring your intention to your third eye and then let it go. Pressing back up into all fours, we're going to thread the needle again. We're going to inhale up our right arm, exhale it under the opposite arm. This time I want you to take your opposite leg back, so the left leg straight back, and then raise it up. Point those toes. If you'd like to raise and lower, 
Please do. Or just hold it up. And bring it back in. Pop yourself up onto all fours. Inhale that left arm high. And swing it through underneath that opposite elbow. Straighten back the right leg and raise it high. Again, if you'd like to lower and kick it up, please do. Bring it in, pop it back up. Nice job. This time I want you to take your legs nice and wide, toes together, and sit back into child's pose. Onto the forearms or the elbows, placing your hands in prayer pose and behind your head. Breathing here, we're getting ready for our flow. Getting nice and grounded into Mother Earth. Popping ourselves back up onto all fours. We're gonna go ahead and tuck our toes underneath us and press ourselves into downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out those feet. Bend and straighten the knees. And we're going to walk ourselves to the front of the mat, hang in that forward fold. Breathe. Slowly roll up, vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. Into mountain pose, standing. Palms forward, shoulders back, chest forward. Tip that head back. Inhale our arms high, hands to heart center, mountain pose, inhale our arms high. This time we're going to swan dive back down into the forward fold. Go ahead and hug your elbows here, hang your head. And go ahead and shake this out, ragdoll, slowly roll up. Through mountain pose, inhale, arms high. Tighten up down the muscles, stretch it back. And swan dive back down into the fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, into the fold. This time we're going to put our hands on the mat, step back into plank. From here, each time we do plank today, if you'd like to go side to side, to engage the abs, please do. Otherwise, just hold it. Chaturanga down, up dog into down. Pedal out those feet. We're gonna inhale our right leg high, bend the knee. Straighten it. We're gonna bring our knee into our right tricep and then back up. Reach towards our left. Bring it back up. Reach towards our right, bring it back up, and then we're going to swing it through into a low lunge. I want you to drop your knee, inhale, arms high. We're going to open our arms to the back of the room, drop our arms behind us, clasp them together, open that chest, drop the head back. And then we're going to go ahead and exhale our arms back down. Pop that front foot back. Breathe. Inhale, left leg high, bend that knee. Straighten, bring it to left tricep. Up, right tricep. Up, left, up. Swing it through. Drop that right knee, inhale, arms high. Scrape 
Bringing those hands and shoulders and elbows to the back of the room. Dropping them down behind you. Open that chest, drop the head. And release. Pop that front foot back. Downward dog, nice job. We're gonna repeat that two more times. Inhale, right leg high. Bend, straighten. Right tricep, up, left, up, right, up, swing it through. Drop that knee, inhale, arms high. Scrape those arms nice and slowly. Back, drop them down, clasp, head back. Keep breathing. Drop those hands down, keep that front foot back. Inhale that left leg high, bend the knee. Straighten left tricep. Kick the leg up, right tricep. Up, left, up, swing it through. Drop that knee, inhale, arms high. Exhale, scraping those arms nice and slow. Down, clasp those hands together, and drop that head back. Breathe. Release. Kick that front foot back. Down dog, last time. Inhale, right leg high. Bend the knee and straighten. Right tricep. Up, left, up, right, up, swing it through. This time I want you to stay up. Keep that knee up, inhale, arms high, warrior one. Good, drop that back heel. Keep those hips forward. those arms back. Drop them behind you. Tip that head back. From here, we're going to move into Humble Warrior. Drop it down. Head down into the inside of your knee. Drop those hands. Kick that front foot back. Inhale, left leg high. Bend. Straighten. Left tricep. Up. Right. Up, left, up, swing that leg through, keep that right knee up, inhale, arms high, warrior one, drop that back heel, but keep those hips forward. Scrape those arms nice and slow to the back wall. Grab those hands behind, clasp them together, drop that head back, and then drop the head down, humble warrior. And release, kicking that front foot this time forward into a forward fold. Hug that third eye towards your knee. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale into the fold. Slowly roll up into mountain pose. Nice job. Shake it out. Grab some water if you need. From here, we are going to do some balance posture. So I want you to stand in the front of your mat, mountain pose, and we're just going to inhale, arms high, and sit down into chair. And hold. And we're going to release, bringing the arms down, and bring the arms back up. Sit into chair. And release. This next time, we're going to sit down into chair and we're going to bring our right leg up and over. 
and sit down, hands to heart center. So our right ankle is resting upon our left knee. And this leg is open. And go ahead and release into mountain pose, shake it off. Inhale, arms high, sit into chair. Exhale, arms down, stand in the mountain. Inhale, arms up. This time we're gonna take that opposite leg, that left ankle to your right knee. Sit down, hands into prayer. into mountain. This time we're going to bring our hands up and then we're going to go back down into chair but as we do that we're going to airplane our arms straight back and our heads down and then we're going to bring them up and then airplane them down and back. Up. So we're bending and straightening our knees as we come up they're straight. As we come down they're bent. Up and back. Up and back. Keep breathing. And bring them up. Swan diving down into the fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale into the fold. Slowly rolling up. This time we're going to move back into the same thing. So we're going to inhale to chair. Hold. This time we're going to air, or excuse me, we're going to bend our arms, taking that right arm underneath your left. Eagle wrap. So we're just holding the eagle wrap in the chair. If you'd like to sit a little bit further, roll back on your heels. And exhale, bring those arms down, shake it out. Inhale our arms up into chair, and then take that left arm up and under the right. Eagle wrap other side. Sit that glutes a little bit lower. Roll back on the heels. Release, shake it out. This time, if you'd like to add the wrapping of the legs, please do. Inhaling our arms high, sitting into chair. We're going to eagle wrap that right arm underneath the left. If you'd like to take that right leg up and over and wrap it around, please do. If you'd like to just take it up and over and then kickstand it on the ground, you can do that as well. Shake it out. Nice job. Inhale, arms high. And chair. Take that left arm up and under the right. And then take that left leg. Go ahead and wrap it. Squeezing those thighs together. Some people can take that foot up and around. That bottom leg. Or if you want to kickstand it, please do. And shake it out. Nice job. Mountain pose. Inhale, arms high. Hands together. Tighten those abs. Stretch it back. 
and swan dive down into the fold. Go ahead and place your hands down on the mat. Toe heel, your toes out. I even like to take mine off the mat and you're just gonna go ahead and bend those legs into a yogi squat and then straighten. Breathe, bend, straighten, bend and straighten. And when they're straight at the top, you can take those hips side to side. Nice and small motion, movement. You should feel that from your ankle all the way up to your glute, all the way up to the hamstring. Breathe that out. And go ahead and bend the knees and straighten. Again, keep those legs straight. Tick tock those hips side to side, very nice and slow. Super small movement. From here, I want you to go ahead and bend those knees again. I'm bringing mine in a little bit further onto the mat. Yogi squat. So taking your knees nice and wide, hands to heart center. Some people like to take their elbows down into their knees and press those knees out. I'm up on my balls of my feet here. If you can, try to take your heels down closer to the mat. That's another practice. If you'd like to raise up onto the balls of your feet and then press your heels down, raise up and press your heels down. Be careful here. If you are losing your balance, you can place your hands down on the mat if you want to raise up. But go ahead and try to keep that yogi squat. Breathe. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take a seat. So finding our knees, and then finding our way onto our bums here. All right, let's see here. Let's do some open arm twists. So I want you to go ahead and just cross your legs. Inhale your arms high. Hands to heart center. Nice inhale, exhale. Let's open our arms, tip our head back, and then close. Open and close. Hands back to heart center. Inhale, your arms down. Fingertips on the ground. Get nice and connected here. We're gonna inhale our arms high. And then we're going to drop them one forward and one back. And then bring them back up. And then drop the opposite direction. I like to look back to the arm that is going back. So I twist that direction and look back. Inhale, exhale. Arms up. Go ahead and peel them back in the nice and slow, creating pressure, bring them in, and then back out. In, drop that chin, and out. Raise it up. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Let's go ahead and drop the chin and do some nice, slow neck rolls. One direction, and then the other. Rotate your shoulders back, and then forward. Taking your left arm up and over. And release, right arm up and over. Release, inhale, arms high, 
and then exhale, bringing yourself down. Slowly coming up, hugging those knees to your chest. We're going to press ourselves back and just hold this boat. If you'd like to straighten your legs or make it even harder, hold your arms out. If you'd like to take these all the way down and then back up, you can. Down and up. Down and up. Or just hold. And release. Hug those knees. We're going to nice and slowly roll ourselves down to the mat. From here, we're going to inhale our arms above our head and straighten those knees. Point those toes, reach those fingertips. A nice stretch here. From here, go ahead and bend your knees, arms to your side. I want you to take your legs straight up in the air. From here, if you'd like to move into shoulder stand, please do. Taking yourself up, hands underneath your low back. Shoulder stand. If not, go ahead and stay here with me and flex and point your feet. Rotate your ankles one direction and the other. If you are up in shoulder stand right now and you want to take your toes all the way down to the floor into plow, please do. Ask your body what it wants today. For the rest of us, just keep your legs straight up in the air. This is also a really good one to take to the wall if you're having trouble sleeping at night, which I know a lot of us are. So take yourself into shoulder, or excuse me, take yourself to the wall for legs up the wall pose before bed or in the middle of the night if you're having trouble. And just let your heels relax onto the wall. Get your glutes as close as you can without it straining too hard on your hamstrings and just let it rest. Okay, everybody slowly start to come out of plow and shoulder stand or in shoulder stand. Lower yourself down to legs up the wall. Go ahead and flex and point those feet. Rotate the ankles one direction than the other. And then slowly hug those knees, rocking side to side. I want you to go ahead and grab your ankles. Close the bottoms of the feet together. Breathe. Grabbing out to the inside of the feet and opening up. You can rock this side to side. Happy baby. Pulling the knees in. Holding the right one. Straightening the left. And then switch. Really point those feet. Pull that knee in. Breathe. Keeping that right one in. Opposite arm straight across and stretch. Drop that knee up and over. and bring it up and over. Keep breathing. Go ahead and bring those knees in. Rock side to side again. And then go ahead and straighten yourself out into Shavasana pose, corpse pose. Arms to your sides. 
From here, I'd like you to go ahead and grab your own music and press play. Enjoy Shavasana. Take this time for you. When you're done, you can go ahead and hug your knees together, roll over on your right side. And then slowly find yourself to seated position again. I always like to go back into cross leg. Inhale my arms high. Hands to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing this time and energy with me today. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Namaste.